The new Mortal Kombat film is filled with Easter eggs, both in what is shown and what characters say. Here are the lines in Mortal Kombat that have a deeper meaning than first meets the eye. One of the central narrative arcs in Mortal Kombat is the rivalry between Hanzo Hasashi, who becomes Scorpion, and Bihan, also known as Sub-Zero. The film opens with Bihan killing Hanzo's entire clan, family, and then the man himself. Before he does, Bihan says, with this line, the movie fast-tracks the backstory of Scorpion and Sub-Zero's clans and their long-simmering blood feud. The Shirai Ryu clan itself is actually an offshoot from Sub-Zero's called the Lin Kuei, which began when a member defected and started amassing their own followers. The Lin Kuei did not take this defection lightly and made it their mission to wipe the new Shirai Ryu clan out of existence, hence Sub-Zero's bloody mission. Cole Young, the once successful MMA fighter who now can't win a match, is first approached about the Mortal Kombat tournament by Major Jax Briggs after an unsuccessful fight. Even though we just saw Cole take a pretty decisive loss, Jax refers to him as the man that took the belt from Eddie Tobias. The line is delivered in a manner that is clearly meant to make it seem like Eddie Tobias is a formidable MMA fighter. The fact that Cole once robbed him of a title means he was much more successful in his younger years, but that's beside the point. The name itself is also also meant to be a loving reference to Ed Boon and John Tobias, the developers credited with creating the first Mortal Kombat game. Another deep concept that gets a cursory mention in the movie is that of Elder Gods. When Shang Tsung is preparing to assassinate the Earthrealm warriors, Melina pushes back by asking, What of Lord Raiden? If he discovers we're breaking rules set in stone by the Elder Gods, the Elder Gods are beings whose job is to ensure balance among the many realms by using non interventionist methods. Despite Melina's fear of them retaliating against Shang Tsung for breaking the rules they've set, the Elder Gods themselves are not all powerful. Similar to the pantheon of Greek deities, the Elder Gods are significantly more human in the way they operate than other interpretations of a divine and omniscient being. The Elder Gods Shinnok and Setrion have even been playable characters in the game series. Considering the amulet of Shinnok appeared as an easter egg moment in the movie, we're curious to see how much of a role the Elder Gods play in the film series going forward. When the Earthrealm warriors find Raiden's temple, Cole and Kano are quickly put on an intense training regime in order to build their skills and unlock their arcana abilities. As Kung Lao begins to put the would-be defenders of the realm through their paces, he says, All you can do now is test your might. That line is pretty straightforward in the context of the movie, but it's also a sly reference to the first Mortal Kombat. Between fights, players would occasionally be tasked with competing in a button-mashing minigame called Test Your Might, wherein their character had to punch through blocks of wood and other strong materials to score points. The nonchalant callback in the 2021 movie seems like an easter egg left specifically for players whose love of the games goes all the way back to the first. Although Liu Kang has been featured as the protagonist for many of the games and movies in the Mortal Kombat universe, he plays more of a supporting role in the 2021 film. He still gets the opportunity to shine some light on his backstory, though. While speaking with Cole between training sessions, he reveals, Unlike Kung Lao, I was just a worthless stray. For reasons beyond my ken, Master Bo Rai Cho found me half-dead in a gutter and brought me to the Wuxi Academy. Like many of the franchise's characters, Liu Kang's backstory got fleshed out considerably as the series went on. I die in the Colosseum. You on a rooftop fighting Lord Raiden. Our future, Liu Kang. It is insane. The 2002 game Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance introduced the character Bo Raicho, the outworld martial arts grandmaster who turned his back on his home realm to train Earthrealm warriors like Liu Kang and Kung Lao. Bo Raichou's status as an outworlder on the side of Earthrealm makes him a significant character in the general lore of the games, especially considering Liu Kang secured several Earthrealm victories in the Mortal Kombat tournaments. While many characters in the Mortal Kombat series have fascinating histories and storylines, there are only a handful that have real significance to the broader arc of the story. The 2021 film smartly brings in several that are less important as fatality fodder, 
one of those being Cabal. In the movie, Cabal is introduced as an assassin working for Shang Tsung and an associate of Kano's. He even says of his old frenemy, he's the reason I live in an iron lung. Cabal's distinct mask and breathing apparatus have been a hallmark of his character since he was first introduced in Mortal Kombat 3. However, while the movie implies that Kano caused the injuries that put Cabal in his iron lung, in the games, the story is a bit different. In 2009's Mortal Kombat, a reboot that retells the story of the first three games, Cabal is a police officer who sustains grievous injuries during Outworld's invasion of Earthrealm. He's found by Kano, who fits him with his respirator that allows him to breathe, despite the damage to his lungs. So, in the games, Kano quite literally puts Cabal in his iron lung, but only to save his life. Although Raiden's warriors feel outmatched by Shang Tsung's collection of assassins, the former ends up pretty much wiping the floor with the latter. That doesn't seem to bother Shang Tsung too much, though. Shortly before the credits roll, he announces, "...today you have killed my warriors and you think you have won, but death is only another portal." The Mortal Kombat games have featured several narrative arcs wherein previously slain characters rise from the dead. In Mortal Kombat 3, Shang Tsung helps resurrect Sindel, the wife of Outworld Emperor Shao Kahn. Similarly, the tenth installment of the series saw multiple dead characters return as mind-controlled versions of their former selves, known as Revenants. The evil sorcerer also menaces the Earthrealm warriors with a warning, "...next time I see you, I will not bring fighters, I will bring armies." While the first two games tell stories that are relatively contained to the tournaments, Mortal Kombat 3 features an all-out war. The plot of the game sees Shao Kahn enlisting Shang Tsung to pull some trickery that ends with the Emperor invading Earthrealm with armies of Outworld warriors. If or when the Outworld invasion happens in the films, Shang Tsung's threat to come back with armies is not an idle one. The original Mortal Kombat had a relatively small roster of characters. There were only seven playable fighters and three special bosses included in the game. All ten of those characters made an appearance in the 2021 film except for one, the vain martial artist and movie star Johnny Cage. Cage doesn't make a physical appearance in the first movie, but based on the ending, fans will be seeing him if there's a sequel. After defeating Shang Tsung's forces, we see Cole in the locker room of the MMA arena when he's approached by his fight booker. He declines the man's offer to appear in a matchup, saying that he's off to Hollywood. The man replies, Hollywood? What the hell's in Hollywood? Fans of the series likely knew the answer to that question as soon as it was asked. But to hammer home the reference, the camera lingers on a poster for a movie starring Johnny Cage right before the credits roll. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about Mortal Kombat are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.